Hello and welcome. This tutorial will show how to use Pencil 2D's Onion Skin. The Onion Skin is a setting that lets you see the previous frames in your canvas while working on frames later in your timeline. It can get a little tricky to use depending on your settings, so we'll walk through a few different options. Let's start by looking at the default settings for the Onion Skin. I'm using a Mac today. If you're using a Windows or a Linux computer, the settings may be in a different location. Go to Pencil 2D, Preferences, Tools, Onion Skin. The Onion Skin opacity controls how visible your previous frames are in your canvas. The default here is a maximum of 50% and a minimum of 20%. That means a previous frame will be about as half as visible as the frame you're trying to work on. You can select how many previous frames or next frames you want to see at any given time. The defaults are 5 previous and 3 next. The benefit of showing a previous screen is that you can see where your drawing was positioned last. This helps you make sure your current frame follows the previous ones for a smooth animation. The next view is helpful if you're making changes to a frame that's between other existing frames. If you decide to have next frames visible in your onion skin but don't have any frames after your currently selected frame in your timeline, you won't see anything in the canvas as a next frame. Now that we know where these settings are and what they do, let's put them into action. First, we're going to make sure the Onion Skin feature is turned on. Go to View, Onion Skin. For this task, we'll only use the previous feature, which you can see is already selected. We'll need something to animate. I'll draw a face so we can animate a change in its expression. I'll add some new frames and copy and paste the face into them. That way we won't have to redraw the whole face every time. I'll do this on my own and then we'll come back pretty quickly. Now that we have a few frames and a few faces, let's delete the mouth on frame 2. I'll use the select tool to isolate the mouth, then hit delete. You can see that there's still a mouth visible on the screen, but it's less visible than the face around it. This is the onion skin at work. The mouth we see now is actually the mouth from frame 1. Let's draw a new mouth in this frame that is slightly different than the onion skin mouth. I'll do this a few times so we have several changes and frames to work with. I'll show you overdrawing the first mouth, but I'll do the rest on my own. Now that that's done, let's make a change to a mouth that's in the middle of the timeline. For this, we'll turn on the onion skin's next option. Go to View, Onion Skin, and select Next. I've selected a frame in the middle. You can see the previous frames in black and the next frames in blue. I'll make a small change to the mouth and then we can move on. The onion skin is a really helpful tool when you need to see what the previous state of a frame is, but it can also be really difficult to use depending on how many frames you have available. Let's look at what the canvas looks like if we raise the number of visible onion layers. We'll go back to Pencil 2D, Preferences, Tools, Onion Skin. I'll change the previous frames to 6 and the next frames to 6 as well. When you have too many onion layers visible, it can make it really hard to see the frame you're actually working on. For that reason, I suggest limiting how many you use to 2 or 3 in each direction. Now you're all set to use Onion Skin. Thank you for watching this Pencil 2D tutorial. You can find more information on Pencil2D.org and on our forums. Happy animating!